hey fam how you all doing i hope you're having a fantastic weekend let's talk about this very interesting video before i go ahead to play the video please take a moment to like this video and subscribe let's get started serious question what would you do if the guy that you were seeing made a female friend dinner at his place like an elaborate dinner i'm dying okay so this is what he made his female friend this is a cheese board i have no idea what this is but he made that some pasta the pasta looks amazing this looks absolutely amazing not gonna lie and he even plated it he plated it he was like oh i made something and sent me all these pictures and i was just wowed i'm like oh my gosh this looks beautiful oh, but then naturally i'm like oh like <laughs> were you on a date and that's completely fine like you're not my man you know we're not together we're just talking so if he was which clearly like this is this is a date but th that's completely fine you know we're not together but this guy was like oh no, no i just cook like this for you know my friends all the time you know, whether it's men or women i made it for my friend and he named off some woman's name i don't want to uh, be talking to someone or dating someone who feels like they need to spend one-on-one -on -one time with someone in a very intimate way this is like extremely intimate it's almost performing for someone um so yeah i i just wouldn't want my potential someone or my boyfriend or my husband doing something like all of this for another woman went on talking about like oh, that we're not together but like i would want my person to, be able to trust me and this and that but it doesn't come down to trust it goes down to him not knowing boundaries because it's if you're if you're doing stuff like this what else are you doing for your female friends to me that's just red flags all over the place and it just shows that there's a lack of boundaries so i just ended up messaging him back just letting him know that that's not something that i'm personally okay with and there's plenty of women out there who would be okay with it but i'm just not one of them here's the thing everyone is different there's gonna be women out there who are like that's completely fine i feel secure in myself i feel confident about my man and i you know i trust him and this and that that's completely fine and again it's not about trust for me it's just boundaries i want there to be very very clear boundaries if i'm talking to someone and i want them to know like what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate what do you guys think okay first off that was an elaborate dinner how many stuff did he cook he claimed he made it for the lady but hold on we're gonna find out the truth at the end of this video i have a stage coming up for us to watch this lady actually reacted to that let's watch Serious it question. what would you do if the guy that you were seeing made a female friend dinner at his place like an elaborate dinner all right, y'all, so let's be messy. So I've been kind of seeing videos about this and I seen some stuff on Twitter and I wanted to talk about it. So the guy she's talking to made a dinner for one of his friends who was a woman. That food looked good as hell, by the way. And Ashlyn, the girl in the beginning of the video, feels like he does not have boundaries with his friends. She feels like it was a date. Like I'm guessing that she's assuming that it's like romantic. Like him doing that for his friend was like a gesture of like intimacy or romance. So I could be wrong, please correct me if I am, but the woman, that is his friend spoke out and said that her and him had only been talking for two weeks and they never seen each other in person now the way that ashlyn was talking in her video you would think that they would have been talking for months and they're going towards something serious but apparently they're not like they were literally in the very beginning stages of like getting to know each other talking and all that good stuff now a lot of different things can be true at once ashlyn is entitled to her opinion and if that was a deal breaker for her then so be it do i agree with what she did and how she felt though no i don't know her dating history but i do understand that some people can get a little sensitive when it comes to stuff like this because if they've been really traumatized in past relationships things that aren't bad can seem bad if they were bad in a previous situation almost like if i was dating somebody who would tell me oh i'm going to the movies when each and every time they will be going to the movies they will be going to cheat so moving forward if you hear a new partner say oh yeah i'm going to the movies it can sometimes be a little triggering if it's something like that playing a role then you have to deal with that yourself but i think it's weird to say he doesn't know boundaries when he's not doing anything inappropriate now i don't know this man but i would like to think that he's not tacky enough to send you pictures of him doing something romantic for another woman when y'all are romantic interested in each other you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that it's not impossible but i don't think that that's what he was doing i think that he was just showing you yeah you know i cook for my friend like yeah this is what i did like yeah i know how to cook and one more thing i think that some of y'all should consider talking to people around you before
before you come to the internet because now it just becomes a fiasco and you just start dragging people into things they did not ask to be in yes we don't necessarily know who they are unless they show themselves but you are telling all of this to thousands of other people and you're talking about these people to thousands of other people okay that's it that's all by y'all i totally don't it? agree with her okay i don't agree with the fact that she brought in the trauma part i don't think he has anything to do with trauma right now all i see is a nice guy that has no boundary there is an update to the story let's hear what she has to say as a response to my original video from the female friend so from what she's saying she brought a charcuterie board over and they ended up cooking dinner together so he did not prepare the food for her but i'm gonna show you the messages so you can get a you can get an idea of like where i'm coming from from this thing so here we go and do you guys see that and some dick for dessert you can pause this and read it i'm just gonna move out the way briefly here here's a continuation of what he was saying and here's the last one. So they cooked dinner together. The way that he wrote his message seemed like he made it all for her. So she brought something over. They cooked dinner together. This guy already expressed that he understood how I felt about the situation of the kind of one-on-one -on -one thing and like another woman going over his house. And that's my opinion, right? I'm okay with certain things and I'm not okay with certain things. So I expressed that. He said, I don't know if I you know, necessarily agree with that, but I see where you're coming from. For me, that's when I decided I'm gonna back out because I would rather progress forward and be talking to someone who sees eye to eye with me on this particular situation. I would just prefer to walk away from the person and just call it a day, which is what I did. And this is a very side note because I don't want to assume with this situation. This guy is not black. He went on and on telling me how much he loved black women. I just find black women very attractive and your friend is black. What are the odds? What are the odds of that? Black women don't make up that big of the population. But again, you know, I'm not going to assume. It's just like a very, very side note that I would have noticed very briefly. And then I, I would have just moved on. Okay, let's start with the black woman talk. The guy is not black. He loves black women. His close friend that he made the elaborate dinner for is black. And now he's after another black woman. So if he's so attracted to black women, he loves black women. Why didn't he date the close friend that he's making the elaborate dinner for? I think this guy is up to something. I don't see anything wrong with the woman talking about boundaries. Because obviously to me, the guy has no boundaries. If a nice guy has no boundaries, he will have no problem showing such pictures to a lady. I guess he didn't even think about it like he said this is a situation of someone that has no boundary not a situation of someone that is having a trauma trigger like the person that stitched the video said the lady is in her right to feel some certain type of way if the person that is asking her out has no boundaries honestly because it's just still a talking stage and there are a lot of things for you to look out for this is a stage you look out for red flags and all that if he feels so comfortable inviting a woman over to his place and having such an elaborate dinner and spending good time with the woman then what do you think is going to happen to you when you start dating the man you wouldn't expect the man to chase everyone away because to him like i said he feels like it's okay because if he noticed that there was an issue with what he did i don't think he would have gone ahead to send her those pictures that tells you how he views life how he, how he views relationship his understanding of relationship i see no jealousy here i see no envy here all i see is on the lax boundary in the future he would expect her to be cool with him having his friends come over especially the female friends and making dinners for them because that's exactly what he's trying to tell her this is how i live my life this is my lifestyle so it's either you're going to take it or you don't take it this can be likened to a man in the relationship having a different female as a best friend it's just the same situation here and then you have the man in that relationship spending more time with the female best friend doing more things with the female best friend than he's supposed to do with his original girlfriend 
there is no boundary from her update it was obvious that he lied because he had claimed that he made everything for the girl so what was the motive you might argue and say that relationship they were still in the talking state it's just two weeks why is she thinking too much of everything you start from the day one to look out for red flags it's a huge one he has boundary issues it could be this is what he does he like he said he loves black women so he hops from one black woman to another it just could be what he does anyways guys this is all i have to say let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye